okay what i'm gonna do here is uh, i'm gonna close the topic of analog to digital conversion by uh, this last topic which is called sample and holdless circuit okay so as the name suggests sample means sampling hold means holding the voltage okay so a circuitry which samples as well as holds the voltage so this arrangement you can see here right this cap uh, nmos this is an nmos uh, so if you are not aware of what is nmos you can take my course called analog electronics okay so i've made a separate uh, course on this nmos voltage follower this is a voltage follower so what basically it does is uh, it takes uh, whatever the voltage is here at this terminal will be at the output as well okay so this is the working of voltage uh, follower and nmos how it works if uh, you will give one here at this position i should uh, change the variable so if you have i here if i is 1 this will be on and uh, this point will be connected to this point if i is 0 this will there will not be any connection between these two points that's how it works so i'll give the working as well so first i'm gonna give you the circuit i'm gonna explain you vaguely how it working and then i'm gonna uh, detail uh, circuit i will give you okay so means how it is working so this is the main circuit and sample and hold part is these two guys okay the nmos and the capacitor this is a capacitor there is a switch here you are applying the analog input uh, corresponding to time this is how it looks like this is a voltage follower and then there is an analog to digital conversion which is having conversion time a t conv okay here you are getting digital output okay uh, here i'll write digital output okay so that is a circuit and uh, to avoid leakage impedance input impedance of this voltage follower is infinite okay so there that there is no leakage of impedance and uh, how this circuit will work so you apply the input from this terminal these input you are applying and you will control the operation via i okay so you put uh, some sort of pulse you can imagine if it is one these guy will be connected to this guy this point so v in will be given to this guy right as far as this is one the capacitor will be charging with this value right capacitor will be charging 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 switch is off right open it is open so capacitor is charging 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 and when the i will be changed from one to zero there will be no connection between these two okay so you have the capacitor holding a value let's say va okay at time t1 it is holding a value va so this guy sampled the in analog input and this guy holded the voltage okay it was sampled till i was equal to one so it was uh, taking the value of input it was taking 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 like this when i was equal to zero at time t1 is uh, uh, at time t1 it is holding a voltage of va right S still the switch is uh, open so whatever the voltage you have captured via voltage follower this voltage will also be va if this is va you can use this to convert for uh, into digital uh, output okay this part we have already seen and uh, when the process will be done you connect this switch to this point so that c capacitor that gets uncharged then you start again you you provide i here so a voltage will be captured by this cap uh, capacitor because the switch will be on and then switch will uh, the, then i value will be zero again so you will be holding some other value va2 let's say but then va2 will be uh, here as well because of voltage follower and uh, you can use it for analog to digital conversion okay so that's how the circuit is working uh, so pure analog to digital conversion you can see here right i'm gonna separately give you the working of when i will be equal to one and when i will be equal to zero okay uh, so that is how the uh, conversion is taking place practically okay so whatever i told you i have just given a figure for that so this is the sample circuit this is how it will look so you can see when i will be equal to one your nmos will be on here nmos on nmos on means this point will be connected to this point that's why analog input will be given to the capacitor and capacitor will charge it will keep on charging until the i is equal to one 
when your i will be equal to 0 there will be no connection between this point and this point here you call nmos off okay if there is no connection between this capacitor will not charge and uh, as soon as you are changing it to 0 whatever the value it was holding it will hold it uh, let's say your voltage va okay so it holds the charge equivalent to your voltage va okay so that is how uh, it is uh, sampling and holding works sampling circuit holding circuits so holding time is usually equal to the conversion time whatever the conversion time taken by the analog to digital con converter till that time you will hold it hold the uh, capacitor value and once the process is done you have converted the analog signal into digital signal you dump the charge by via switch okay that's how you have to do it so that's how the things will work it is simple circuit but um, uh, mostly people are not aware of it okay and uh, this is very important so that's how analog to digital conversion is happening uh, so we have seen the adc part but sample and holding process should also be known and uh, uh, so this with this i'll uh, complete the analog to digital conversion we have seen the digital to analog conversion as well now i think i have to uh, like uh, move to some other topic so there are some more topics uh, uh, remaining uh, we'll finish it and then i'm gonna close digital circuits okay